How to install Android 11 Developer Preview 2.1 on the Xiaomi POCO F1 Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Android 11 Developer Preview 2.1 on the Xiaomi POCO F1 As you can see I do have the POCO F1 running MIUI 11.0.6.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have GoAp Recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, you will have to do a format data from to recovery, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Next thing, you need an application called Z Archiver. The link for that can also be found in the description of this video. All the other files which we need are also linked in the description of the video and these are the files which you need so you need the android 11 super user zip file in case you want to root your build of android 11 developer preview 2.1 then you need the pixel 4 rom by arguar for the poco f1 then you need gms apk disable force encryption is needed if your device is not encrypted or it is decrypted and of course you need the android r developer preview 2.1 gsi file yes we are using the ab file because it will work absolutely fine on the poco f1 next thing open the z archiver application tap on this dot 7z file and click on extract here this is going to extract the 7z file and we should have a dot img file with the same name in this very folder so there it is the dot 7z file was extracted successfully and now we have a dot img file with the same name in the folder next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then you need to go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures well we're doing this because we're going from me ui to android 11 developer preview 2.1 and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device another question which i get a lot is what would you do if you are on a custom rom well you follow this video and skip what is not applicable for example if you're on a custom rom you won't have the option to remove your me account next thing you also need to know whether your device is encrypted or not so for that you can go into settings password and security and privacy here it is encryption and credentials for me it says phone is not encrypted which means i do need the disable force encryption zip file next thing we need to do is we need to boot into to a recovery for that the first thing we're going to do is turn our device off and once we have turned our device off we will press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the two up recovery boot logo now once we have booted into two up recovery we're going to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe if you do not get the option for vendor that means you're not using an appropriate version of two up recovery i have linked the version which i am using in the description of the video once the wipe is done click on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder i have created a separate folder called dp21 signifying android 11 developer preview 2.1 the first file which we need to flash is the pixel 4 rom zip file so we'll select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once the pixel rom zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button now based on the fact whether you were encrypted or not encrypted you need to flash dfe so if you were not encrypted or you were decrypted then you need to flash dfe for that first thing we need to do is we'll go into mount make sure vendor is checked if it is not then you 
check it then we'll go back to the home screen and now click on install and then we need to select the disable force encryption zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once this is done we'll click on the home button go into reboot and select system and there it is we have the dark google boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into the pixel rom and make sure that you boot into the rom and you complete the initial setup as in you can skip through all of the initial setup you don't have to add in your accounts or connect to the wi-fi or anything like that so we are on the initial setup screen of the pixel rom let me skip the initial setup real quick and now we can go into settings and if you go into about phone you will see that my phone is the pixel 4 next thing we need to boot back into to up recovery so we're going to turn off our device and then once the device has turned off we will press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the to up recovery boot logo back into to up recovery we'll click on install and this time we'll select install image now again you need to navigate to the folder where you extracted the dot img file for android 11 developer preview 2.1 in my case i still have it in the folder called dp21 in my storage all you need to do is select the file on the next screen select system image and then swipe to confirm flash now once the system image has flashed successfully all we need to do is select reboot system and there it is you can see that when we were booting into the pixel 4 rom we had the dark boot animation now we have the white google boot animation which means we are booting into android 11 developer preview 2.1 on the poco f1 the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and we have booted into android 11 developer preview 2.1 it is telling us that there is an internal problem with your device we'll just click on ok the health services app will keep on crashing we'll just click on close the application here it is android developer preview click on ok one more time we can now unlock the device and then we can now go into settings now the sim manager and the phone application might crash on you but a reboot will fix the phone application but the sim manager application will keep on crashing so we'll turn off the crash notification for that for now if you go into about phone and if you click on the android version you can see that we are running android version r which is android 11 security patch is from april 5th 2020 which means this is developer preview 2.1 running like a boss on the poco f1 now the notch is not aligned correctly and if you switch over to gestures you will see that the ui is a bit laggy so now we are going to fix all those things but before that if you have to use the google play store well in that case you also have to update the gms application so for starters we'll close app go on the home screen open the file manager application which is files in this case click on continue then we'll go into apps and tap on the app install file which is apks and select the gms file which we had transferred it is going to stage the application and then we should get the option to install it if you do not get the option to install it tap on it one more time and here it is we'll go into settings allow from this source go back and then click on install as you can see google play services is being installed now this step is very important if you want to use your google account you want to sign into the play store and if you want to make calls so let me close the phone application one more time and as you can see google play services was installed successfully we'll click on the done button next thing i recommend you do is you connect to the wi-fi wi-fi works absolutely fine on this build and you complete the initial setup because once you complete your initial setup you should be able to make calls and you will have in call audio as well next thing we need to do is we're going to fix the notch so we need to boot back into to up recovery for that first thing of course power off your device and once you've turned your device off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo once we have booted into to up recovery we're going to mount make sure that system and vendor are checked if they are not check them click on the home button go into advanced go into file manager here you need to look for vendor inside vendor you need to look for overlay now we need to move three apks the first apk which we need to move is the auto generated apk so this guy framework race auto generated rro vendor 
So we will select this file then tap on move. It has opened the file manager application one more time. Now we need to go into system and then we need to go into system one more time. Click on product and then we'll go into overlay and then click on the check mark and then swipe to confirm. So this has moved one of the files. Next click on back and then we need to repeat the same process for the other two files which is system UI Google auto and system UI Google beryllium. So select this file click on move it will automatically be at system system product overlay click on the check mark swipe to confirm go back select the next file system UI Google beryllium select it move still in system system product overlay click on the check mark and then swipe to confirm once this is done click on reboot system and we have booted back into Android 11 developer preview 2.1 let me close these applications click on OK and bam there it is you can see that the notch is now perfect everything is aligned perfectly and looks pretty cool next up we need to fix the lag so for that we can go into settings and then enable developer options another thing I would like to add is that on first boot up the ROM is a bit laggy and it does take a few seconds to a few minutes to settle down so we'll go into settings and then we'll go into about phone and then we can scroll down all the way and now we tap on the build number a few times we'll get a message we are now a developer next we will go back and then we can go into system advanced developer options and here we can scroll down and turn off the animation scales so these are the three animation scales which are set as 1x change all of them to animation off and this is going to make the ui a bit smoother and you won't notice any animation lags because we are actually turning off all the animations next thing if you want to root this build well all you have to do is boot back into to up recovery so first thing turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo and once we've booted into to up recovery we'll go into mount mount system and vendor Go to the home screen go into install and all you need to do is select the android 11 super user zip file select the file and then swipe to confirm flash next thing click on reboot system once the file has flashed successfully back into android 11 developer preview if you now try to go into your app drawer you will see that we have an application for super user and this is going to handle all the applications which require root access do note this is not magisk so you will not be able to use the magisk modules next thing let's fix the pop-ups of sim manager always crashing so we'll go into settings and then we can go into apps and notifications of course the rom has booted back again and it's going to take some time to settle in so we'll go into apps and notification see all apps and then we can click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show system here you need to search for the sim manager application so we'll scroll down and look for that application which is crashing and irritating us here it is sim manager click on it go into notifications turn off notifications from sim manager what this is doing is it is not going to show us that crash pop up every time the application is crashing in the background do note this is a port which is not supposed to run on the poco f1 but it is still running on the Poco F1 so you have to live with the fact that a few applications are going to crash and it, that it is not perfect as for the Gcam APKs I have linked three Gcam APKs in the description of the video they all install in parallel on this build of course for now video recording and anything related to video is broken but pictures portraits night sight work absolutely fine from the front camera and from the rear camera as well so there it is peeps that is how you install android 11 developer preview 2.1 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you